Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we're going to be talking about the shy. Uh, talking about Coogie, Brandon, Jake, Papa, and Kevin. Everybody on that show, man. I'll tell you what, that is a seriously quality show. That writing is so damn good. And uh, now, I initially, uh, when I had, uh, I, 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 I was following following it for a minute, and then I stopped following it after they let go. Uh, Jason, the one that played uh, Easy E in Straight Outta Compton, and so I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't too. Uh, I, I'm very. Uh, it's like I, I, I gotta see full blown evidence. I gotta see, you know, damn near court papers because I'm even like that with Jonathan Majors. It's like, hold on, I need to, I, I need to see shit before I can just up and run with whatever the media or whomever says anything about somebody. So, um, that being said, I kind of boycotted the show after I heard of his, uh, departure, the one that plays Brandon. And so, um, but I recently just got back into it because I got Hulu and I got that, uh, Paramount Plus. I'm like, why not? Let me watch a little bit of this. And I got hooked. I got fish hooked to where the show is so late that it's... It's not just Brandon's story, it's everybody else's kind of like, you know, from the older cats to the younger cats to, uh, to you know, the young kids and shit. It's like it's got that vibe to it, and I think it's a, a very a quality show. Lena, Lena Waithe did her thing. Lena Waithe did her thing. That, that girl has got some skills to pay the bills. <laughs> That idea is 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 flawless, and it's beautiful black TV. My goodness, I I am very pleased with what I've been seeing on that show. I I, I love it. I like it way better than I do um, Snowfall. Snowfall. Franklin got a little too Satan for me. I just I'm like I'm cool on that man. <laughs> yeah, apparently you are actually the villain in that show. I, <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like there are definitely uh, movies and shows from our past where the villain is the protagonist. Look at Kane from uh, Don't from uh, Menace to Society. Like yeah, I get it. But Franklin, ooh, Franklin. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, very quality show, and uh, I wanted to uh, come back with a bang, and and I uh, wanted to hear your thoughts on the show. Uh, I know I'm a little late to the game as far as this is concerned, but it's only because I kind of boycotted it because of them letting go uh, e the one that played E. So, but anyway, like, comment, and subscribe for your boy. And uh, let me know your thoughts on the show and uh, what you'd like to see uh, happening in the future for some of the actors. Because there's some quality ass actors on that show. It's not just about the show itself, but there's some talent on that bad boy too. And uh, there, was, there was something I had forgotten to say in the last video because I was just telling y'all, kind of updating you. But um, the one from uh, Interview with a, a Vampire... Uh, I'm trying to think of her name. The the one that plays the daughter. Why can't I think of her name? It's uh, it's the one uh, um, where Kirsten Dunst played the same role. But the sister that's playing that role in the first season smashed it, smashed it. I was I was getting annoyed with the, with the series until I saw her performance. And uh, she's also in Avatar. She. Uh, uh, the newest Avatar. She she portrays a, kind of a love interest of one of uh, Jake Sully's sons um, on there. Can't think of her name. Saved my life right now. But man, she is something to watch out for. I've been seeing some mad talent. Mad talent. But I just wanted to acknowledge that. Anyway, uh, Rel's out. Uh, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later. Peace, peace.